I got into ceramics in high school. It was my junior year of high school. I took the Wheel Throne Ceramics class, and that was about four years ago, and from there I kind of just have been rolling with it. Uh, some people say it's like getting bit by the pottery bug. You just get bit and you get hooked and you can't stop, so. The thing that solidified it to being something that I really want to pursue is the application of it to life in general. A lot of art is mostly visual, whereas pottery and ceramics is more uh, personal because it breaks the barrier of touch, uh, which I find really interesting because then you can introduce the tactile experience with your art. I feel like it gives a better understanding of what the piece is. Biggest influences were definitely my high school ceramics teacher. Uh, his main art medium was ceramics and so it was, he was really knowledgeable and it was easy to learn from him and we got along really well. Art, man. Art plays a huge role in developing like the creative side of your brain and with that comes like curiosity in terms of like, you can apply curiosity to pretty much anything and so flexing that muscle is really important for like all aspects of life I would say. I see art as a way for everybody to express themselves in their own individual way and in that there's a, there's a really nice beauty to it and that I feel like impacts society in a way because it's a bunch of different viewpoints coming together in the same medium and you get different results and that's all based on uh, who the person is and how they tend to express it and so the individualism of it and how we all see things differently is really fascinating. Ooh, the greatest parts of the medium uh, I love the personal aspect of it and how you get that tactile experience where you're not just looking at it on a wall. You get to feel it and hold it and use it. That's the main thing I like is being able to use it on a daily basis. I, since getting into ceramics, have almost stopped using plastic entirely and only use ceramic ware that either I have made or people I know have made, like friends, which is awesome. or people I look up to and I buy their pots and use it. There's definitely specific aspects that kind of tie all artists together and I see it as being that curiosity for creativity and wanting to explore the mediums and things that you're interested in to a great extent and visualizing ideas that you have look differently from person to person and so getting to converse with other artists to talk about your work or their work or how they interact with each other um, is really special to just art in general. Uh, going into a teaching position, there's ways to get yourself into the art classroom and be allowed to teach the knowledge that you do know. So for me personally, I can absolutely see myself being a high school ceramics teacher, not necessarily general art education, general teacher, um, but that is one avenue that I feel like I will pursue. Ceramics will always be a part of my life, I feel like. Um, going into the education field, you get summers and winters off, pretty much, and so while I'm teaching during regular semesters, I won't get to flex that muscle as much, but in the off season, I definitely will be able to, and I plan on it. And then post teaching career probably will be what most of my time is dedicated to, will be ceramics. I think my favorite piece to make would just be a cup. I have one here. Um, because the interaction between the user and the piece I feel like is most in depth with a cup because there's multiple ways that you can hold a cup and both and two different people might hold a cup differently. And so a lot of my work has this slip work on the side that I glaze, and that might be somewhere that you hold on to the cup with, whereas somebody might hold it completely differently. I would say I do my best work when I've spent a long time with a piece. 
or with like a set of pieces. So if I make six bowls, the first five bowls might all be the same, but I'll do something differently on the sixth one that just because I'm bored with the, what I've already done. And so I'll change it up. And from there, I can see like evolution and new ideas come to fruition. And from and that evolves pretty much. As much as I would love to just be a full-time potter, it's really difficult. And the lifestyle is one that I don't feel like I could live. And so I will probably be taking the route of just education and then always having it as a side thing. But it's very so, much so on the forefront of my mind a lot. And I do sell work. I have work currently at Bloom Coffee. I know the owners, so it's pretty easy. Um, I also have done the Lincoln Farmer's Market one, no, twice. I did it twice this past summer, and I plan on doing it more. And then, quick plug, UNL Clay Club does have a sale every semester, which I sell at too.